Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to shoot targets at two, three, and 400 yards. The rifle I'm going to be using is this Daniel Defense 16 inch carbine length gas. Uh, nothing special, stock everything, stock trigger, uh, aim point here, one power. Link in the description box below, I like a T1. That's my personal preference. And nothing special, you guys are gonna be able to see, we can make hits out to a quarter mile and even beyond. I've, I've made hits 600 plus yards with this aim point with no problems. Generally my rule is when I'm shooting at distance is no more than four seconds per target. We just don't have that time. People appear and then they disappear very quickly. Uh, at least that's been my experience with, with bad guys. So we need to make sure that we are on the sights and on the trigger making good accurate shots. I want um, the upper vitals whenever I can, whenever that's available to me. So I've got targets at 200 yards, which is a reduced size silhouette. It's not a full size silhouette at all. The one at 200 is very small. It's probably only about yay big. And the ones at 300 are a uh, up size of an upper torso. And then the ones at 400 are a little bit smaller than that. So uh, we're going to put this on the timer, no more than four seconds per shot. I'm going to start this drill standing. So it should take me no longer than 12 seconds to hit one piece of steel at 200, 300, and 400 yards. Well, we talked about four seconds per shot from starting from the standing. We got that in at 11.5 and that's all good hits right there. So I'll take that. So the reason we want to be able to shoot these targets in four seconds or less is because we don't get to shoot on our time. We have to shoot on the bad guy's time. And you know, I've seen people appear and disappear very, very quickly. So targets are not always available to us. We don't get to look at our site and press and press and press and press and press. Oh, there's the shot went off. It doesn't work that way. We got to see the target and shoot it. We got to make a good accurate hit. Otherwise, we're just going to have to shoot some more. We talk about having skill with rifles. You know, our, our ancestors, our founding fathers, the people that fought the Revolutionary War were, were skilled riflemen. A lot of them were. You know, one of the things when the company of riflemen uh, were trying to plead their case before Congress, you know, why should we spend more money on riflemen? We can, you know, have guys that do musk you know, uh, one of the big reasons that they got sold on that idea is because they had people step up at 200 yards with their rifles and shoot a uh, caricature of King George. He had a big nose and so they had this wood placard with, with a charcoal outline and every one of them would step up to the line and shoot it. Every rifleman hit it. And uh, the, old, the old saying after that happened this, I don't know if it's a true statement or not, I tend to think that it was, but they said, uh, well, what are we going to do with all the splinters? And they said, we'll send them to Parliament. So that's what our founding fathers, you know, thought about riflemen and that's the skill that they were able to have. Even even with 18th century firearms, they could hit a target at 200 yards with it. Whenever you go out and shoot, guys, put yourself under some time constraints. Put yourself under some pressure. You need to be able to make these shots quickly and accurately like you just saw. And if you like this drill in this video and you want to learn more of these, come on out to Valor Ridge and we can help you become a competent rifleman. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.